Hey, Rainmaker 201 podcast, Greg Mack, your host. Thanks for joining in today. I wanted to follow up my post in the Mad Lab forum on Facebook this morning about what is your prospect buying? The flip side to that, of course, is what is your prospect think you're selling? What do you think you're selling when someone calls you and says, hey, uh, I want to join your gym. I want to get fit. I want to lose weight. I want to get strong. I want to, right, build muscle, all this stuff, right? Lots of different reasons why people exercise. Well, mostly they exercise for weight loss, sports performance, and uh, the aesthetic, right, bodybuilding style, right? That's fine. Um, but when they call you, I wondered as a, as a gym owner, as we you know continually build into this construct of you know, lifelong professional relationship, does your prospect understand that that's actually what you're asking them to make a decision about? Right, because you know this whole process of selling is really about decision making, and you'll hear me harping on this and circling back to that idea that we're in decision science mode here, really, and and that selling is the the process that most people call it when there's a transaction between two or more people and somebody wants a product or a service and somebody else wants money for it or some kind of consideration. And and in that transaction, um, it's a sales transaction. So that's fine. But is it clear, right? Because what's tough again, and I'm going to revisit these ideas over and over again, as I feel, and as you've probably heard me say before, that that unfortunately exercise is perceived by the modern consumer as a commodity and that, that you're just a shelf item on a retail shelf somewhere and they're looking for a clerk to write up the order or answer some basic questions and they can walk away or not. And the problem with the commodity mindset is it's not about a relationship. The consumer doesn't think about this, I don't believe, necessarily as a professional, lifelong, advocacy-based relationship where you're pulling alongside them to help them with exercise and wellness and fitness and eating and motivation and whatever else you want to bring to the table as a professional to help them, one, meet whatever goals they're showing up for initially, but recognizing that exercise is something that should be encompassed into someone's life, integrated for the remainder of their life. And the exerciser, the, con the consumer of exercise doesn't always think about it this way. You know, they think about it as, again, a commodity that ah, I got to lose some weight. Let me exercise. Well, you know, I'm kind of bored. Let me get out of the house and exercise. Eh, let me uh, get a little bit better at playing some sport and I'll exercise for a little while. And when the sport's over, they stop exercising as if that was the only reason to exercise. Um, outside of the, probably the more powerful reasons to exercise, right? Uh, which is the endocrine responses that we can get from exercise that profoundly influence um, the hormonal system, the, the nervous system, uh, the immune system. I mean, these are really the reasons to exercise independent of weight loss, sports performance, and, you know, getting ripped and looking crazy, right? So, um, long term, that's what we that's what we're trying to get people to do. And I don't know if the consumer is even thinking about buying that, you know, when they call you on the phone and they're shopping and they're looking for the lowest price and the closest location. Right. And maybe they look at credentials and experience, but I really don't think they do that much. I, I think they're looking for price and they're looking for location and uh, whether or not it's going to be fun or scary or something along those lines. Right. Because they want to feel safe. Uh, so when we're in this conversation with the prospect in the face-to-face, -face, now remember the, the first contact is trying to decide whether the suspect, someone you think needs what you're doing, um, says anything that's emotional and physical that's in your wheelhouse that, that drives the idea of, oh, th let's spend some more time talking about this together face-to-face -to -face, and insisting on the face-to-face, because -face, if not, you can't transition 
the process in their mind into, wait a minute, this is different. This is a professional relationship. This is consultive in nature. But if you're just taking orders over the phone, you're feeding into the commodity-based mindset. Punch cards. I sell memberships. We sell a 10-pack of personal training. This is all commodity framing for the consumer. And that's how they're going to come at you, right? They're going to come at you with how much is your membership commodity? How much are your personal training sessions per hour commodity? And so how much are your classes commodity? How often are your classes commodity? Can I bring the product back or terminate it anytime I want commodity? And so we've got to wrangle with this idea and start to move the conversation. And at some point, just ask them point blank in your presentation, um, hey, this is what I'm offering you. I'm offering you a professional relationship with me, an expert in this field as a coach, that as long as you live in this community, uh, I want to be alongside you and your partner in this process of helping you achieve whatever physical and emotional and psychological goals you might have. But as those change, and they will, over time, keep you moving forward and not just jump in and out of exercise every now and then. It's got to be a part of someone's regular existence. Is that what they're making? A Do they know that's what you're asking for a decision about? Not how much is the membership per month and per year and how many personal training sessions. And that's all incidental. Those are just tools and processes you're going to employ and strategically bring to the table and help them figure out a way to build this and construct this relationship so that they're moving forward. And it might include some personal training, might include some group X, might include some specialty programs, might include some nutritional and eating counseling, uh, any number of things that you're going to bring to the table um, as your expertise uh, deems necessary as you uh, cooperate with them. And so uh, we got to clear this up, right? We got to make sure this is well understood because if you're ending your consultations and really they just thought in their mind, uh, I just bought a membership and they made me buy personal training. They just made a commodity-based decision. And so I encourage you in your presentations as you answer these questions and talk about all the tools you have available to you, that when it comes down to the end and you clarify what you're asking them to consider making a decision, a buying decision about, that you just say in a straightforward way, what you're really buying today, Mr. Prospect or Mrs. Prospect is me and all the professional expertise that I bring to the table and some of our team members who interact with you. That's what you're buying and all the membership and personal training sessions and wellness programming and dietetics consulting and nutritional eating and specialty programs and all the other things on our menu are really just tools uh, to support that buying decision. And so I want you to try that next couple of consultations and see what happens. And let me know on the forum and share it with us so we can get a grip on seeing if we can steer the ship a little bit um, towards the consumer recognizing you as a professional coach worthy of a professional lifelong relationship. Keep me posted.